Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now today is kind of like the part two of my massive haul series um, of going to Primark and stuff like that. So I have a big Primark haul of stuff I purchased and also a lot of makeup I've picked up recently and a pair of lovely shoes which I'm excited to show you. So let's get on with the video. From Primark, um, this is the same trip I did on my last video where I did that massive haul. So the first thing I picked up was this um, makeup bag. So this is a massive makeup bag because I need something to transport all my makeup to uni. And this is pretty big, so I can fit all my stuff in here. It's basically just like plastic, holographic. I kind of want this just all over me. It's really cool though, and you can hold it with a um, little pleather handle. And this was five pounds, very nice. Next thing I picked up was a pair of shoes. Um, again, I don't need more trainers from Primark. I really have like three pairs, but I really like them. And I picked up these shoes. These are so cool. These are like, they have just like this lovely sheen to them. Like, look at that. Lovely teal color with a sheen. And these were 10 pounds, so these are really good. And I have them in the uh, rose gold and holographic. And now I have them in this like sheeny green, and I love it. I love it. The next thing I picked up was another bralette. I already have four of their bralettes, and I really do like them. And they're, cause they're like three three pound fifty they're so cheap inexpensive but really lovely and I picked up this kind of pink one um, this is coming up like a lot brighter um, than it is in person it's kind of like a dusty rose color really lovely with the lace I really like how they have this kind of lacy underlay because with other bralettes they have the band I always found that just doesn't like I, I can't wear that um, but I really like how they have the lace and it's just really pretty then the next thing I picked up was some pyjamas because um, I kind of wanted some nice pyjamas because all my pyjamas are literally just like comfy like uh, jogger things and like a random graphic t-shirt um, so I picked up some pyjamas these like silky ones so these are really pretty and they have this like lovely um, lace bit at the bottom and they're elasticated and they have a little tie as well and they're really nice and silky and soft um, and then the top, oh, the top, I'm at wearing the day. It's really cute and pretty. It's the silky top with this um, lace detailing at the top. So it's like sheer here. And the back is so cool as well. It has a really low back and then it has this like elastic thing here. And it has this like little cutout really really cute so they're both five pounds so ten pounds for a really cute pajama set next thing i picked up was kind of like my only like clothing thing um i picked up this huge cardigan it's supposed to be a boyfriend fit one um but i got an extra large because i tried on like the medium and i felt like it like fit me fine i just want it really really baggy and because i don't own a cardigan and it's really really soft I feel like this will be really good as a transitional piece in autumn and like going to lectures and stuff just like throw it on it has buttons and I love like when like people in movies like they get the cotton and they just wrap it around <laughs> I don't know this was like 10 pounds 10 13 pounds I took all the price I think this was 13 pounds I got this in an extra large things I picked up were some fishnet tights I needed to pick some more up and I got some in kind of the smaller whole ones because I bought some for uh, Board Masters Festival um, they were the large ones and I just kind of tore them to shreds and um, so I picked some uh, two pairs up for three pounds next thing I picked up was some eyelash curlers I, I currently own one gross pair which I got when I was like eight um, so I picked another pair up for one pound. So these are the big lash curlers. Um, and then I picked up the Royal Prep Calming, Calming, Holla and Glow Mask. It has a crown and a girl. Then I picked up two sets of hairbands. I picked up kind of the normal ones, the brown ones. And I picked up these. I've never tried these before, but because I have curly hair, I've heard these don't get knotty like your hair isn't like you have to yank it out so i picked up some of these and these were only one pound and the last thing i picked up was some falsies 
they're these ones, the Full Look False Lashes. And these are the ones I'm wearing today. So here are the false lashes. Um, they're really, really pretty because I really like kind of like the wispy look. Um, as you can see with this one, I find it very, very difficult sticking down. It's still not stuck down, so it's like sticking up. It's really annoying. Um, I tried the Primark Lash Glue and I don't really like it. I don't think it's as good as my eyelid. Um, I know ones. Okay, so then I went to shoe because my sister was there and I was just like trailing behind. And I went in there and I was like having a look at the shoes and I was like, oh my god, these Converse look really nice. And I just picked them up. It was very impulsive. But they're so cool. They're like this. They're like metallic. Metallic pink. But they're not pink. They're just like. Ugh. They're so cool. They're like the low top ones. I really like the low top. Um, I got these for £40 and I think that's a really good deal because I got £10 off. Um, so they're originally £50 so I got these in my size 5 and they are lovely. Now we can move on to the makeup. So from that Primark haul as well I also picked up this Primark eyeshadow palette. What? Um, this was £6 and this is the Master Eye palette. And I have got it on my eyes today and I am pleasantly surprised. These shadows are really pretty. My only kind of complaint is that this shadow, which is like, there's only like three matte shades, the black, this white shade, and this kind of terracotta shade. This has so much fallout. I was like, am I moving subculture palette right now? This is so much fallout from just like tapping it in. Um, but it's given me a beautiful look. I'm so pleasantly surprised with these shimmers, how pigmented and kind of easy they are to blend. Like, oh, look at that. I definitely recommend picking this up. They have a matte palette as well, but I wanted one with sh uh, shimmers in. So, from the drugstore, I picked up the Matte and Poreless from Maybelline. I've tried this before, I did not like it. I tried it again and I kind of like it. It's in a light medium coverage, matte, but like I still get quite shiny so I don't think it's very long wearing. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's like not my favourite, but it's not terrible. And I also picked up the Matte and Poreless powder with that. Um, this is nice when I first put it on, but it does not keep me matte. I tried it on its own and I had to blot many times. Um, but what I can say is that when I reapplied this with my oils, it didn't go cakey and bunched up, which other pressed powders used to do. Then from MUA, I picked up two things, and two things I have been absolutely loving. This is the MUA Fire Vixen palette. No one is talking about this palette, and it is beautiful. I paid, I think, £4, £5 for this absolutely beautiful this is a warm person's dream like people who love warm colors like look at that the shimmers are so pigmented the mattes blend beautifully i mean there is fallout um but this palette really reminded me of that mac palette the limited edition one because it had like this shade and like the grays in so i find it really unique that anyways come out with this palette with grays and it's like fire and this colour is just so pigmented. And then the other MUA palette I picked up was the Rusted Wonders palette. This was £3 something. This is beautiful. These are like foiled eyeshadows. These are so pigmented. Like, look at that. I barely, I barely press my finger in. It's just stunning. Oh my goodness. Look at that. So pretty. I absolutely love them. I'm just like... MUA and like Primark, like the cheaper brands are coming out with some really good eyeshadows. Next, I picked up the um, Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colour in the shade Mo Mocha. And um, this is from Rimmel, and of course, I'm not wearing it today, um, but I have worn it many times before, and I absolutely love it. I find that it's not drying compared to like the Kat Von D ones, which I found very drying. Um, and also, its lasting power is amazing. Really love the shade. This is a very me shade, like warm brown. 
And lastly, these are stuff I ordered from NYX Cosmetics and they came today and I was like, yay! It comes in my big box here. Um, and so the first thing I picked up was the NYX Perfect Filter Eyeshadow Palette. I have not taken this out of the seal, so I will do a little unboxing for you on camera. So it looks like this. This is not sold in the in my store. Oh darn it! Stops there. It's really annoying. Um, so it has um, it has twelve eyeshadows, and they're a mixture of mattes and shimmers. I definitely want to do a whole video on testing this product and the other NYX products I have as well. Um, I think this was like twelve pounds. This is the perfect filter palette in the shade Rustic Antique. Then I picked up another of the NYX lingerie eye things and this is in the colour um, 09, I don't really think it has, yeah 09. This is like this really pretty aqua um, blue green shimmer, I love these, these have amazing staying power, I have oily eyelids and they last for hours and if you just pack an eyeshadow on top it sets. It literally stays on for up to like 10 hours and that's amazing. I then picked up the NYX um, eyeliner. This is the inner eyeliner in the shade, what shade is this called? Oxblood. And this is red and I thought this would look really cool in like the bottom waterline with this eyeshadow palette with the maroons. The last thing I picked up in this haul is the NYX Vivid Brides. And this is the blue eyeliner in the shade Sapphire. And again, I love blue eyeliner and I thought if I do like a maroon eye then I have the contrast of like a blue eyeliner and then a red under bit. <laughs> so guys I hope you like this video make sure to give it a like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Comment down below if you have any other video ideas or anything you want me to do like testing other makeup or other weird kooky challenges I'm all down for that. Um, also make sure to check out my other videos which I will put in the description box below with my Twitter and my Instagram. Check me out down there. Um, yeah, so anyway guys, I hope you're having a great week and I hopefully see you next week. Bye! Mwah.